Josh Pivo Torres. I'm the current New Mexico State Boxing Champion and the current WBC Latino Champion. I started boxing when I was 14 years old, but I've been fighting my whole life. I've always loved that adrenaline of uh, fighting. My father got me very gloved at a young age, and I just fell in love with it. And I had a good buddy in high school who was boxing, Vincent Merrill. So I started training with him and his dad in the boxing team. Uh, Richard Maribor, and from there I just uh, actually grew and I just kept going. The fight was against Alonso Rivera out of uh, Arizona. We fought for the WBC Latino title, went 10 hard rounds. He was a, a tough, um, you know, rugged fighter. He came to win, so, so it was a good experience for me. It was good to get some rounds in. Uh, previous fights before that, I was going on five knockouts in a row, so it was good to, to be able to go 10 rounds to remind myself that I was able to dig deep and show people what I'm made of. So, you know, it's just a great event in general. Having the first fight in many years at the Tinley Coliseum was an awesome opportunity. So we're getting ready for the next fight, which will be November 9th. Here now in Mexico, we'll be fighting at the Tinley Coliseum, which is amazing. Being that we had our first fight back there at the Coliseum in the last round, and to know that we're going to have another one back to back is just exciting. It's going to be a great undercard. I believe there's about eight or nine fights total, so it's going to be a great event. I'm excited to uh, see what the future has in store for us. So with uh, Earl Spence and Danny Garcia, I think, I think, I think, I think a lot of people doubt Danny Garcia, but he's always coming through. He's always coming out with that victory, and I spent a lot of time with him in the ring. And he's a crafty fighter, he's a veteran, and, and the dude has a lot of skills, so I think that'd be a great matchup. And I definitely agree with you, uh, but...